I mean the whole thing in general. I mean, it's not the same as what it was before. I mean, like... It's not <clears> the same. I was into it when, like... I think the last time I ever, like, ever tuned in and actually watched, like, a WWE match was when... I think it was SummerSlam, and it was when Finn Balor fought... I don't know who he fought, but it was for the new, like, Raw World title. He was the first Raw World Champion when they it split up. Seth Rollins. Yeah, well, the they last, fought. The and last the episode Rollins. that I watched, I shit you not, because when I say this man's name, you're going to be like, wow, it's been a long-ass time. The last episode that I watched, JBL was in his prime. What do you mean was in his prime, Cameron? Like, was wrestling? Yeah. Oh, so you're like circa 2000, like, six Five. to, five, six to yeah. eight-ish. Jeez. Yeah. I haven't watched an episode since then. Oh, so much has changed. So JBL was, like, an active, like, superstar <laughs> oh, wrestler. No wonder you didn't know that people hated John Cena. Like, that all came after that. That all came after John beat JBL to become the champion. Like, slowly people just began to resent him. Oh, wow. Yeah, because when I was watching it, he was on top. Yeah, like, everybody. yeah, yeah. He was, the, he was like this dude, because everybody was like, oh, you know... Uh, whatever he went by before he became John Cena, he was like the like hot shot, short, short fucking guy, and it was whack, obviously, and they didn't think he was gonna make it. And then he had a revamp, and he came, you know, with John Cena. He was rapping, and yeah, wasn't it like Stacy oh, Keebler or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they were like a house man. party or whatever. It's like, oh, I heard you can freestyle. It's like, you know, I got, I can do a little something. He's like, this is my fucking shot. I better not fuck this up. Yeah. So yeah, John Cena was getting ready. They were talking about releasing him from the company, and he was okay. At, like, just a, like a little like company gathering with Stephanie McMahon, and she was like, I heard you can rap, and he dropped her a couple fat bars, and Stephanie McMahon, I guess, laid some fat ropes over that, and was like, all right, we need to push this guy. <laughs> and that's the rest is history and then he took his shirt off and Vince was like yeah you're right <laughs> because Vince McMahon is the most homoerotic straight man that's ever lived <laughs> let's Triple H let's put oils on your and my body and let's wrestle yeah this thing, dude <laughs> the wildest thing to me is that he used to he used to wait in arenas around corners for Kurt Angle Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle and was like I'm gonna out wrestle you and I'm like that's psychopath shit 